Anyways, before I came here, I uh, get ready, and the doorbell rings. And who is it? The Jehovah Witnesses. Right? This lady ends up telling me, we believe only 144,000 people are going to make it to heaven. I'm like, oh, so you go around and you knock on everybody's door telling them about it? If that was me, I'd want to keep it a secret, lady, and increase my chances of making it. If anybody I knew was going around telling people, I'd be like, listen, you tell one more person or you knock on one more door, and I swear to Jehovah, I'll break every freaking bone in your body. Of course, that's the Italian to me talking. Anyway, she's going on. She's like, we don't believe in celebrating birthdays, Christmas, anniversaries. I'm like, oh, oh wait a minute. Maybe I'll convert. Meet a nice Jehovah girl. You know how much money I would save? Of course, the Italian in me would find a way to corrupt this religion. I'd be knocking on some guy's door and be like, hey, buddy, listen. Only 144,000 people are going to make it to heaven. The Catholic down the street, he's already thinking about converting. I'll tell you what. You give me 500 bucks, I'll talk him out of it, and I'll get you front row seats. I got a guy. Of course, my own personal biases and bigotries would probably get in the way. I'd be knocking on another door. Hi, sir. Oh, excuse, is, it, is it a Green Bay Packers flag on your wall? <laughs> never mind, sir. Have a nice day. <laughs> I can never be a Jehovah Witness, though, because they have twisted morals. They think doing drugs are wrong. I think drugs are only wrong when you can't afford them. What do you think my main goal as a performer is to make enough money to support a drug addict? Plus, they're too politically conservative. I consider myself an extreme moderate. My mom said I was actually single-handedly responsible for getting her involved in politics. She said she was not pro-choice until I was born. And since I, I eat so badly, I like to exercise and make up for it. My favorite exercise, hands down, has got to be swimming. I like it. I don't feel myself sweat. I don't have to stop to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm done, I hit the showers. And they're all open, which isn't bad, until it gets to the part where you got to wash your rear end. And there's something about sticking my hand on my butt in front of a bunch of grown old men, it just makes me feel kind of vulnerable. It's even worse when you're showering with a girl, right? Trying to be Mr. Cool. I love you, baby. I love you so much. <laughs> my name's Steve Slummy, and that's my time. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Let's give it up for Steve Slummy, huh?